we don't only want to activate muscles, we want to deactivate them as well. So this is a deactivation. This is a restorative position, right? It's a resting position. It's fantastic for the lumbar spine because the pelvis rolls back, decompresses the lumbar spine. But at the same time, the LDH drops back. And again, up from that, the upper spine opens up as well because the, the floor is providing a fulcrum with gravity for the upper spine to open up because his head is dropping back and touching the floor. And then he goes on to the next exercise, which is an exercise where it's arm movement and breathing. And remember what I was talking about is I want to get these upper ribs to open up as much as I can with his movement to open up the front of the shoulder, to open up the front of the ribs here, to straighten the back a little bit. And we saw, you can roughly say a little bit of a difference in his thoracic extension in his squat range of motion that he had uh, in the video. So the exercise um, is called pullovers. And so I have him interlace his fingers, and this is important. The, how I'm interlacing the fingers here, I'm not having him in this position. I'm having him in, in this position where his, his, his wrists are bent. And that way, he has to keep his elbows as straight as possible during this whole movement. And he has to keep this position and allow his shoulders to drop back towards the floor. Notice that he's trying to reach up towards the ceiling like this. So the more his shoulders drop back. So go ahead and do the movement. Okay, so that's his range of motion. And notice that, go ahead and go. If you try to go farther, keep going, keep going. His LDH reaches off the ground. It lifts, I can put my hand under there. We don't want that because as soon as that happens, these ribs compress, come on out of it. So what I'm having him do is allow the shoulders to come up because the problem is, the problem is there's so many exercise philosophies out there that say, pull the shoulders down, pull the shoulders down, right? He's this and this, he's already pulling his shoulders down. We don't want to reinforce that. Even if you go back and down, it actually pushes your rib cage forward and your LDH forward. That's, that sucks, that's not good. Because once this, this goes down, the clavicle compresses those first two ribs, the first rib and the second rib. And as it's compressing and you're pushing forward, you're getting that compression here. So it doesn't allow the range of motion. So the shoulders need to go up. And I'm not saying up towards the ceiling, I'm saying towards his head. So if he, as he brings his arms towards his head, more, 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 reach the shoulders into the ears. More, more, that's as far as, that's as, far as he goes, which is a little better range of motion. And then as he does that, breathe into the chest. Go ahead, inhale into the chest. Good, exhale back. And actually, this is actually, this is better than it was last time. Mm -hmm. So this is how, how stuck he is in the shoulders. And this is part of what I'm going to do here for the first, his first hour of structural integration is really work a lot with his shoulders and his LDH to get this to open up more around the tissue because his tissue is so tight. It's so bound up that it doesn't allow that movement, aside from the muscles not being able to do that movement themselves. 